All right, cancer, here we go. Let's take a look at the hot spot. We got a cure for cancer reading here. It's basically, it's for cancer, sun, moon, rise, and Venus, but it's basically an all signs reading because I'm taking a flyover of the hot spot of the whole cycle. But anyway, whoever tunes in, tunes in. You got a three of swords in my Friday reading. I want to take a look at that. And I'm also going to pair it with the energy of the Queen of Cups that Leo got the other side of the hot spot. Because the Queen of Cups, while that energy is someone who has realized what love is, the Queen of Cups gives the full cup. And there's some, there's some nervousness here about that. Once we realize something, we have to do something about it, right? Well, the Queen of Cups kind of does. That's a big push. And uh, there's, that could be what's driving in part that energy. Could be what's driving in part the Three Swords on your side. That Three Swords had a lot of pain attached to it, okay? But that's an equal and opposite reaction to the amount of love attached to it on the other side. That said, let's do it. I got a pre-shuffle here. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Terror or you've been following along, you found it for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. There's a whole playlist of Cure for Cancers. You might be in a different timeline. You might be at a different place in this connection. Go click anything, any reading, anywhere that resonates with you. Okay? Keep that in mind, especially in that Cure for Cancer playlist. All right? There's a lot in there. We've been doing this for a while. Right here is uh, the Page of Pentacles, crossed by the Seven of, of, of Pentacles. There is a, a nervousness here, like I said, about reaching out. And again, it's a message here of the timing is better now. Something's happened, and we've seen that in your readings. Something has happened, all right? Somebody is questioning a belief system they've had, a way they've been living, something along those lines. And it, it, this is a card of someone taking stock and looking back. This is a card of the student right here, all right? So the combination of these two cards has something to do with timing, a nervousness about reaching out, someone keeping an eye on you, but someone being well aware that they turned down the rainbow. All right? They fucked up. And I, I get that a lot for you. And there's your energy. Chariot coming towards you. It's the card that we ended the reading with, the Friday reading in the Pisces position. That's important because that reading is a, is a picture that's being painted. All right? That, that right there, again, there's a drive to come towards you. There's that Queen of Cups energy, kind of. There's a determination here. Because the Queen of Cups that Leo got gives the full cup, right? There's a drive to do that. And there's your Justice card. There's your Justice for Cancer. Whatever has been, I say this, I said this in the All Signs reading for uh, Aqu uh, Venus and Aquarius that I did the other day. Whatever has been separating these two cats, which in this case is represented by this little sword here, as I read the energy. He's going away. It really is. Long gone. It's because somebody's questioning things. Somebody's intuition. Somebody's inner wisdom. Somebody's soul has woke the fuck up. But that's causing three swords in the cancer angle. Okay? It's causing a lot of pain for this person. And, and it could be for a number of reasons. Either way, I don't care. It, 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 this person's got past pain they haven't dealt with, fine, even if that's it. It's the three swords is what drives them in. Nobody here in the whole soulmate cycle, especially in the, in the angle of cancer, that person did not want this to be over. They can't let this go. It's just hanging. The energy is still there. You're still connected to this person. So they feel it. They're probably thinking about you right now, right this second. I can pick that up in the energy too. So we're shuffling the deck right here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer universe. A little study of the hot spot here with a cure for cancer reading. And this is a special reading. Five cards from the bottom affecting energy and then eight cards up top. We'll see where we go here, cancer. We'll see where we go. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, here you are. Since I got here to YouTube. You've been coming up as the King of Pentacles, this rainbow antlered eight point buck. Again, somebody passed up a rainbow here. That's our overall energy. After that is the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's out in the cold on the rainbow antlered buck. Some, again, somebody sees your value. Somebody's figured this out. There wouldn't be three swords if they didn't. We don't have three swords over something we don't care about. Right? We don't. And look, I don't know that's there. I'm not looking. Three swords. There's your three of swords from the Friday reading. 
And it's all around the fact that somebody passed up some, the, the rainbow. Right? Whether it's rainbow antlers or the rainbow on that page of pentacles, somebody blew you off. They blew it off for something else. Whatever that is, it's going to be different for all of you. It's a general reading. I, I can't specify. I wish I could. For a lot of you, it's a marriage that was long dead. Fine, I'll specify. For others of you, it's expectations put upon them by family. Those are the two biggest energies. Okay? Uh, it, it, it's a lot of pain. And right here, the Seven of Wands. This is very interesting energy. The Seven of Wands is one of those cards that has a lot of meanings. Someone standing up wanting to fight for something. Someone keeping the high ground. Someone feeling blocked. It's got all kinds of meanings. This right here, this person blocked themselves. They, they always had a wall up to this. They always were holding it at bay, keeping in the background, hiding in the shadows, watching, learning, figuring out, try, even asking themselves, why am I not interested in this? When all the while they were interested, it was just their brain putting up a bunch of fears. And after that, the fifth card out, what does it lead to? Communication. Okay, this is in the energy right now. Eight wands. It's up to them. It's minor arcana. I can't predict their free will. I can't control free will. Neither can you. So don't fret about things you can't control. You can control how you feel about things. Do that. Leave the door open for this person. Because right here, I'll show it to you. It's the sixth card. I don't pull it out, but it's, it's there. Let's look at it. It's got a rainbow on it. It's the Six of Swords, the very overall energy of our Friday reading. Proof for you that you are the hot spot of the connection cycle. This is a deck that wasn't even used for that reading. And it's pretty much here. Three Swords dead center in the affecting energy. The card I'm pulling on here. Because they passed up a fucking rainbow and they did it to themselves. I believe they do want to stand up and fight for it. I am drawn to the flame here. But it's up to them. they got to get the courage up to come in. There's, there's a lot of explaining to do. There's choppy water that needs to be moved on from. There's misunderstandings that need to be cleared up for some of you. I think as I read this energy here, just as a pure energy read, I think for there's, there's two main scenarios here. Either the people on their side, and I've told you this before, somebody or something on their side didn't want you two to be together, may have made up lies. You know, felt threatened by you in some way. That's why they did it. Don't they, because this person, in in the cancer angle of this cycle, this person is controlled by the energies around them. They want to keep them right where they are because there's some sort of prize or trophy or something. I don't know. Or they get things done. Or they they're the cash cow. I, I have no idea. It could be any number of things. Could just be they're surrounded by narcissistic, selfish energies. I don't know, but that energy is there. And this person's very, very sad. Sad enough to make a rose wilt that they didn't come toward and get, take, get the rainbow antlered buck. It's a missed fucking opportunity. And the, and the only way they fix it is through communication. It's the only way to move it on the calmer waters. And it's right here. Communication with you. Communication with you. This is your energy. You've been coming up as this king of pentacles. Eight point rainbow antlered buck since the day I got here. It's right there. But now it's with an eight of wands. It's up to them. It's going to take communication. Our reading's on the flip. Let's go. Six of wands. Let's see what they'll do. Four of pentacles. King of wands. I hate that motherfucker. I'm tired of that card coming out, Cancer. I'm tired of it. And right here, the queen of pentacles. Again, you're awesome. These cards are the baseline energy. The queen of pentacles. It, it, you two, on some level, on the soul level, com complete each other. You're this, and, and they're, they're this little fawn here. That's the little fawn from the Page of Pentacles that we opened up with. You are important to this person. They have realized that. There is victory with you. That you are the key to their transformation in life. I firmly believe that on their side, however they've been living, they don't have hope. It's darkness. It's something like that. Okay, I might be exaggerating for drama purposes, but you catch my drift. With you, they see a future. They see hope. But there's some sort of controlling energy here. This king of wands, this ego and pride around them, and it's bled onto them and it creates fears. The four of pentacles. It causes them to fear lack. They fear coming towards you. They, to, in order to come towards you for a lot of them, they have to leave something behind. And there's no, as I said in the All Signs Venus and Aquarius reading, there's no guarantee that you're going to even accept them. And then they fear being left out in the cold. 
something. We need to get past this energy here. I need to see if we do. So let's clarify. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? And I'm sorry about if, if any banging in the background is coming out on the video. I'm going to have to work around noise today to pull readings. I apologize. I do. But I feel like, you remember that show with all the work that's going on around here? It seems to be going on forever. You remember that show, Murphy Brown? Did anyone ever watch that back in like the 80s or whatever? She had that, that painter, Eldon, I think his name was. He was always there. He was like never finished working. He was just always there. That, that's kind of what I got here. I got a bunch of Eldons walking around. I feel like I live with these people. It's fucking mind-blowing. All right. Why is the Six of Wands here? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is it here? It's fucking mind-blowing. Eight swords. Eight swords. This person in their fucking head. They blew it. I can't phrase it any more than that, Cancer. They blew it. it again, I see. You look. This is five of pentacles. This is you, right? This is you too, the adult deer here. This is them, the little fawn. They had a chance to grow and expand and they let whatever's controlling them on their side, even if it's within themselves, their own ego and pride, they let it create fears or they listen to lies of others that kept you two apart, right? Oh, you don't want to go near cancer. No, no. They gave, they, they gave Jimmy herpes, you know, something along those lines, like spreading rumors that, that you're like some sort of walking herpes epidemic. It's that kind of energy. All right. I'm not saying that's literally what happened. I know there's some people that watch that take my analogies literally. No, that's not true. I'm going to turn it off. I don't have herpes. This isn't for me. Come on. I'll expand you. You must be terrible. Those, those people must be terrible at watching sitcoms because sitcoms are all about sarcasm. If you take things too literally, you'll never get the jokes. But the bottom line here is that's kind of the energy that's here. Actually, not even kind of. That is the energy that's here. They blew it. And they're up in their head about it. They're not sure how to get this victory. What's on top? Nine pentacles. Jesus Christ. They need to find their independence. They need their independence from this energy. Whatever this is. Could be someone around them. Could be within them. Whatever it is, this energy generates fears. It does. It's the ego. The ego is the brain. The brain's job is to protect you. That's what it does. The soul drums up all this love, love, love. And the brain's like, no, 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 no. Stay back. You're going to lose everything if you go toward that. You're going to lose everything. Mm -hmm. Also, there's another layer of energy here that they've seen you thrive. And I've said that to you before. They've seen you thrive and transform. They've been spying, even if it's just energetic spying where they pick up through osmosis because you're connected, that you're growing. But for most of you, they've been watching you. Fake, fake uh, accounts on social media. If you write a blog, they're reading it. If you have a website, they're reading it. Uh, for most of you, they've been watching. Or for some of you, they've had somebody else watching. Either way, they've seen you thrive. This makes them nervous. It, but it also inspires them. This person, this seven of wands, that energy, it has an inspiration energy around it. You're inspiring to this person. You make them want to be a better person. You make them want to grow. Okay? And they've seen you doing it. They're this fawn right here, this little baby deer, and you're this adult one. Okay? On, in, in the energy of this queen of pentacles. Down here in the affecting energy, they pass this up. They, they had a shot. They had a shot at this. Okay? I don't advocate hunting. I wouldn't do that, but I come from a family of hunters, so, you know, you take the, you, you're raised in my family to believe you always take the shot. If you got the shot, take it. I mean, you know, if it's, your person didn't take the shot, they had a chance to get a trophy, and they didn't take it. And it's left them, they left themselves out in the cold, and it's left them dead center here in my reading, Three Swords, the very card that came up in the Friday reading from another deck. What's all this fear? Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. I swear to God, it's unreal. It is mind-blowing, the respect they have. And, and this could all be put to bed, all be put to rest, according to the cards with communication. It just, it, communication solves all problems. Wars, world issues, religious issues, politics, whatever it is, communicate. But there's a polarization here, right? Uh, you, it, any kind of peace moving on to calmer waters requires compromise of some kind. That requires communication. 
And what do we got here? But there's fear with this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why? Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. Because, because they did nothing. Because they, they need to heal from something. But really the energy of this, the Four of Swords, I said, why, is, why are they holding back? They're holding back because they held back. They're afraid a lot of time has passed here. Their intuition is driving them with the little lamb's third eye lit up down there. Their intuition is driving them towards you. Saying, no, don't, just, just go ahead and try anyway. This person needs to understand the concept that I've been living by throughout most of my adult life. Which is, if you don't try, you don't get. They need to just figure that out. It doesn't matter. If you fail, you fail. But if, if you don't try, you haven't done anything. Hell, even Yoda says that. You know, I mean, what the hell? You could take Star Wars wisdom and apply it here. You know, there is... Uh, Jesus Christ. Hangman. Yeah, hang, they just sat there out of fear. And they have a new perspective on this. They're aware of this. This person's been healing. This shows the healing aspect of the Four of Swords. This is a dark night of the soul right there. They have been. But it also represents someone sitting on the fence. You're pretty impressive to this person. They want to know more about you. And it's going to take communication for them to do it. But this energy is what's... This is almost separate. This energy is all by itself. All right? And it's the cause of this. It's the cause of the inaction. Why is the King of Wands here? Why am I looking at this asshole? I don't like this energy. This Cobra right here on the card. Puffing up. Right? Oh, man. They put a Cobra on the card for a reason. King, the King and Queen of Wands are read wrong as cards all over the goddamn YouTube. They're, some people read them as wonderful things. And they can be depending on the cards around them. But they represent ego and pride. The King of Wands it, it can make you think anything is possible, right? The hilltop wedding, everything's possible. Fairy tale, big lie. It's all puff. It's all fluff. But whatever this energy is, it's what's causing the fears. It's what's caused this to hang back. Could be within them. It could be the energies around them. It could be both. Why is the King of Wands here? Why? Three of Pentacles. Something on their side does not want to let them go. Something on their side is, is continually trying to keep this person locked into building, trying again, try again, try again. I think for a lot of you, this is, this is a spouse or something that won't let this person go or a family. Those are the main two energies, and I read them a lot. It could be a career that they won't let go of that they should have a long time ago. What's on top as well? Ten Swords. They're done with this. They're do this. Even the universe says this needs to come to an end. This is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. They're done making it work with whatever this energy is. And I saw that in yesterday's All Signs reading for Venus and Aquarius. This is why somebody who was distant before is coming in. This is why the energy is coming in like a freight train. And a good chunk of this is March's baseline energy of temperance. It's balanced energy. It's an energy of truth. It's, it's Archangel Michael. It's angel energy. It cancels out devil energy. And I get a lot of devil energy off of this right here, this ego and pride. Whether it's someone around them, people around them, a thing around them, or within themselves. It's coming to an end. They're all done with that. Okay, great. So here's our final final. What does it all mean? Remember, we're pulling on the Three of Swords from the Friday reading. I say the Three of Swords is a card that brings them in. Three of Swords, in the four, this is the fourth soulmate cycle I've studied in my life. I'm not old enough to have done more. But I've looked at the earlier ones that were around before I was born. I did some studying on those. And I can tell you 100% of the time, it's the Three Swords that brings them in. Followed closely by the Five Cups. I'm going to tell you what. This person has a high fucking opinion of you. Not only are you this rainbow antler eight point buck, you're this nine of pentacles. They want to know more about this. They passed up something. They passed up this for shit. Okay? Mm -hmm. it, they're, and they're done making it work with that. I see that. I see it. All right? it it's the fear caused by this that caused them to hang back. I don't believe they're hanging back anymore, but I believe they're coming in 
to suckle you just like this goddamn baby deer is suckling this mother right here. All right, they're coming to feel you up and nuzzle you. All right, or suckle one or the other. Hey, you never know. Depends what you're into, I guess. All right, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about it. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Check this out. Crossed by the devil, the goat with its feet on fire. <laughs> right, right there. The fucking devil. It's. It's an obsessive energy. It is the connection. How do I phrase this? The, the reason the Three of Swords is here twice, and it's very powerful in this deck. It's ripped. To sh it's not even a heart anymore. The reason the Three of Swords came out as the center of a reading on a reading that I'm pulling on the Three of Swords is it's here. This connection has become toxic. There is choppy water. Remember the Six of Swords? It was the overall energy of the Friday reading, and it's the sixth card here after eight wands. Moving on from choppy waters to calmer waters toward the rainbow. This connection has become toxic, but it's become toxic because somebody wouldn't budge. And, and, and now we've got some toxin spill over here. There is an obsessive need for this person to get this straight. I think if they don't, they land in a tower. That's why this eight of wands came out. It's a very powerful card of communication. And because it's bookending this, the King of Pentacles, I suspect, I suspect it happens. I suspect that there's something here. I don't see how this energy can forgive itself and move on without some kind of closure here. What's on top? I told you, the most powerful card in the Major Arcana. It's changing. We want this devil here. This is your, all your person's past shit. This is all your person's hang-ups. This is everything past pain, whatever it is. Whatever this, and, and I said that this is kind of reading like devil energy, didn't I? I said this king of wands. Look at the background color on the cards. The cards that go together here, just in this top section. Well, actually in the bottom section too, to some degree. Are uh, the devil, looking at backgrounds, right? The devil, the king of wands, the hangman, and the five of pentacles. To a degree, the causing this and this, causing hanging back and then causing the communication. But just looking at it, the devil energy is what caused the stagnation here. And it's because of this, this ego and pride. And I think for a lot of you, it's someone else because I think it's come to an end. All right, because I got the world here. A cycle is ending for this person. A big cycle. This is the most powerful card in the major arcana that I can pull. All right. What cycle is coming to an end? A cycle of toxin. Somebody wants to clear something up here. Somebody wants to set the record straight. They want to. Their intuition is guiding them to do it. Their brain is telling them not to. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. That's why it's minor arcana here in the communication. Their intuition, their soul is driving them towards you. Their brain is saying no, no, no. All right. They got Amy Winehouse brain. The soul's trying to make them go to cancer hab, and their brains say no, no, no. All right? But this is powerful. I think the soul is more powerful in this case. Soul went out and got itself a power amp, right? Normally the soul is a transistor radio, and the brain, because it's in the 3D, is like a rock concert. So it drowns out the soul. But I think the soul went out to Best Buy and got itself a a gallon Kruger power amp, 1500 watts, and it's trying to keep up a little bit with that goddamn rock concert brain. Let's pull three cards and a bottom card from the universe, and let's do it from another deck. Let's take the witches. Come on, witches. Give me something here. Let's get the sexy witches out. What's going to happen here? What's the likely outcome here? That's what I'm going to ask. I wouldn't normally do that in a, can in a cure for cancer, but today, it's a special day here at Steve's Love Tarot. Okay. It's the day after Flem's birthday. He's here. He's quiet. He's 19 now. Everybody, he's 19. I managed to keep him alive. I've had, got, had him since he was five months. So I managed to keep him alive about a little over 18 and a half years. So I've done something right. Cost me a fortune in goddamn organic vegetables because he got a specialized diet. You give an eclectus parrot fortified mix from the pet store you got a dead eclectus parrot by age 10 or 11 on the top side 
<laughs> they don't like that. Uh, don't work with their long and longer than average intestinal tract. Creates tumors. Either way, that said, I have managed to keep him alive. So he's very happy. He had a good birthday. He had himself some pizza. I gave him a little pizza crust. You can cheat on your birthday. It's fine. I'm still shuffling. I'm just killing time here. I'm going to get you an answer. What's the likely outcome here? All right. Of, the, of this three of swords. And I think it dri drives them in. I got, the, I got a very powerful card right there. Give me three cards and a bottom card, universe. And don't fuck with me here. All right. Do not fuck with me. Two pentacles. Three swords in the center again. And the queen of swords. And let me tell you something about this queen of swords before I show you the bottom card. Queen of Swords in this witch's deck, she don't take shit. I would not. She looked like Sam Kinison sitting in a chair to me. I wouldn't fuck with her. I, I absolutely would not. She does not take shit right there. Um, that is communication. The Three of Swords results in communication. It is the Three of Swords came out again. Three times. I'm pulling on it from the Friday reading. I get it in the center of the affecting energy and I get it in the center. Uh, note the positions here, Cancer. In the center again of the message of my question, what's the likely outcome here? That Three of Swords is crossed by the Hermit. Okay? It is the cause of things. This shuts down the rock. Con this is the power amp that the soul bought over at Best Buy. Bought that power amp, got it all wired up, and it's cranking the energy through and it's drowning out the brain. It's causing a decision to be made. These are red center, left, right. The universe is answering me. I'll tell you exactly what it's saying. It's saying, Steve, yes, universe, Steve, this three of swords that they're feeling is going to cause them to have to make a decision. And it looks like they do for most of them because of the queen of swords after this. Now, if there was a card of indecision after, after this, then it would tell me that this two of pentacles was indecision and no decisions made. I'll tell you the same thing I told Pisces. Fucking decisions been made here on somebody's part. I separated this energy up top for a reason. We got ten swords on top of this king of wands for a fucking reason. A decision is being made. Somebody's coming in to speak their truth. They're coming in with swords because they're, they're afraid. They're afraid. Well, you're fucking awesome. And I know you are. At the very least, as I tell you in every reading, you've got sweet asses. And that, that alone is intimidating. You don't want to miss that. And they already did. They already missed the chance. Maybe some of you, they got a chance to tap that ass. I don't know. But they missed a chance to do it again. If you know, And they wanted to. Whatever the case... You're very intimidating to this person, but they do want... So they come in maybe a little puffed up. Yeah, a little swordsy. But I'll tell you something about the Queen of Swords, okay? Unlike the King of Swords a little bit. The King of Swords is more head over heart type decisions. The Queen of Swords, she got a big heart, all right? This is really big. Look, there's a picture of it, and it's got three fucking swords in it. It's, com it's communication that causes the us to move on here. A truth needs to be spoken and it looks like it will. It really does. I, I, that's the best I can tell you. The soul got itself a power amp and it's drowning out the brain. Alright? The soul wants to go to cancer hab. But their brain's been saying no, no, no. But now, no, no, no is quieter than cancer hab. And I think they're getting in a cab and heading your way. Right there. Queen of Swords. That's nice. That's your reading. That's our cure for cancer. Stay tuned. You know you got an energy update. You're the hot spot. Something's coming up for you in the coming week. Stay tuned. Uh, I would definitely stay tuned. Especially when Venus enters Aquarius. And if you haven't watched my All Signs Venus in Aquarius reading that I did yesterday, go fucking watch it because you're all over that shit. You're the hot spot. It is very important reading for you. And it's reflecting a little bit here. Actually a lot bit. Alright? That being said, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, Cancer. Good luck.